Hey guys, update for the dimension tools. You now have the ability to create a speed dimension. Uh, and you simply just pick your target object and it'll display the speed in the current units if you have it on auto, but you actually can convert it to different system units if you want. So miles per hour, you can make the gizmo a little bit smaller if you want. And now you can make the speed of an object as renderable text, which is great. It was a requested feature, so we threw that in there. Um, by default, the text is linked to the dimension shape. Feel free to unlink that, and then you can link it to whatever you want. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, linked to the original helper. So yeah, check that out. That was a pretty fun one to mess with and to create. Uh, one of the new features we've added to the tools is let me go ahead and delete all these and I'll create a, a angular, the linear, and I'll create the lead one for you as well. So let me go ahead and move these out of the, so they're not overlapping. So one of the things I've improved is the linear dimension shape. So this one, you now have extend top, which was previously just extend. So you now you can adjust that to extend for the pass, but we added extend base and that lets you offset the base uh, part of the dimension as well, which is a feature request. And then on top of that, the arrows, there were some uh, rendering issues where you could see it kind of overshooting the dimension line. That's just part of the native shape uh, meshing process. So you can kind of tweak that now utilizing, um, where is it, the offset value here. So now you can kind of choose to offset that if you want to. It even gives you more control over what you want to do. If you actually click on the outside option, again, that lets you even push it out further if you want to mimic some dimensions you see in real blueprints. So again, uh, that was a request by users, so we added that in there. Uh, one of the other things we did add in here as well, let me turn the rendering off is in the tools section, we now have open style toolbox. And what that allows you to do is you can go ahead and select all your dimension shapes and the text if you want. And now you can kind of unify them. You can do copy from selected and it'll grab the settings from the first selected item. And you can then real time update and you can kind of more easily make them all look the same if you're looking to do that uh, for your project. And then you also have the text settings. So if you want the text to look the same, again, we'll click auto apply selected in real time. So as you adjust this, you can make them all the same. If there's additional settings you want me to add in here, certainly let me know. We just started basic for the time being, uh, again, per upon request. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for the support.